Uh, this is uh, Judge Deneen, um, I believe on the 5, uh, after uh, Trump showed up at the courthouse for the 37 different charges, 400 years in prison. <laughs> yeah, crazy, right? They really think they're going to get away with it. So anyway, uh, this is Judge Deneen uh, after the fact. Um, if you want to subscribe, hit the little B in the bottom right hand corner and uh, just enjoy the video. And, you know, hit the uh, thumbs up if you would. And comments are welcome, but keep them clean. So anyway, just appreciate everybody watching. Oh, this is from the, uh, uh, the Five, I believe. So thanks for watching. You know, I am so livid right now. I am furious. I have spent over three decades in a system that I believe in. I'm a believer. But today, I am no longer a believer. What you've got is a weaponized Department of Justice, Department of FBI, and CIA. We saw it from the time he came down that, that escalator. They started with the Russia collusion hoax, and we know that Hillary Clinton made it up. She even told a president, the Durham report, she told Biden and she told Obama she was going to do it to get rid of her email scandal. So what did they do? The FBI lied. They went to a FISA court judge. They lied three more times. They needed to get this guy. And then they see they violated the Fourth Amendment rights of one American and spied on a presidential candidate, and we now know it was all a hoax started by Hillary Clinton. But that wasn't enough. Then what we had is the FBI telling social media, you can expect that there's going to be Russian disinformation in the form of a Hunter Biden laptop. And that's when they interfered with the presidential election for the second time. And 51 CIA intelligence agents. So we've got the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA say, oh, this is Russian disinformation, when we know damn well it wasn't Russian disinformation. And now what you've got is a loser prosecutor, Jack Smith, who's been slapped down by the United States Supreme Court in his in one of his prosecutions that if I were a lawyer, I would give up my law license. I'd be so embarrassed hiding under a rock. He's the one who prosecuted John Edwards. He's got a political agenda. And this is all over a Presidential Records Act, which is a civil, civil suit, a civil issue. And so what they do is they put out this narrative indictment. Oh, this is a story of wrongdoing, national defense. And let's put in espionage. We can to tie it into the Russian collusion so people will say, oh, it could have been the Russians. This is nonsense. And I want to know how many documents were altered? How many documents were destroyed? Zero. Zero. But who destroyed 33,000 documents that she lied about over and over again? Hillary Clinton. She destroyed them. That was tampering with evidence. That was obstruction of justice. And did the DOJ, the FBI care? They didn't give a damn. But now they care. What are they so afraid of? Let him run for office. And if he loses, then that's the end of it. I hate a country that is akin to a third world country. This is a banana republic. When you indict one guy running for president and and the guy who's doing it is some old geezer who says, you know what? I don't know anything about it. The day, by the way, the day that we finally get under threat of contempt of the head of the FBI, we finally get a 1023 from a credible FBI source, credible, $200,000 worth of credibility the FBI paid him, saying Joe took $5 million, Hunter took $5 million from Ukraine. And I'm not done yet. I'll tell you something else. This whole thing with Ukraine, why the heck is everybody going to Ukraine? Why do we put billions and billions and billions of dollars into Ukraine? What the heck is going on over there? Randy Weingarten going to check out education. And Joe Biden goes over there in January of 2018, and he says, if you don't get the prosecutor off that company where my son makes $80,000 a month, and if you don't get rid of him, I'm not going to give you the billion dollars that the United States promised you. Well, Joe, that's called pay to play. It's an organized criminal enterprise that we have as a president and his family. They should be ashamed and every American should be ashamed of what happened today. <laughs> well said. Jessica, I assume you agree with most of that. <laughs> <laughs>